and welcome to Force 13's second tropical weather update and with just five days to go until the Atlantic hurricane season commences there are lots of invests to talk about all of a sudden however none of them are in the Atlantic they're all elsewhere around the world 90C still going over Hawaii 91E and 92E now churning up the eastern Pacific 95A in the uh, Sea of Arabia and 94B in the Bay of Bengal at the moment Looking at the latest satellite imagery here, you can see first of all 90C towards the centre of the image over Hawaii at the moment. Not that many clouds associated with the storm, but it does exist. 91E also um, over in the eastern Pacific, moving out ever so slowly towards the west. Um, low chance of formation for that. And 92E of course um, near Mexico with a 30% chance of development at the moment. Looking at the Atlantic, again very quiet as we saw yesterday, still um, no change to that and it doesn't appear as if there's going to be that much in the way of development of any systems over the next five to seven days according to the models. The Indian Ocean has produced two new invests over the past day, 95A near Oman in the uh, Arabian Sea and 94B not too far from the Indian coast in the Bay of Bengal. Uh, neither of them are likely to develop at the moment. Looking at the current sea temperatures, you can see very warm waters off the coast of Mexico with the Guatemala border as well, um, 30 degree plus waters over there. The Caribbean looking warm as well, 28 degrees or above there. And along the African coast, warm waters around the equatorial waters here as well. Um, and looking at the Indian Ocean, red hot waters here as well, 30 degrees or above in many parts of the North Indian Ocean. Same too for the Ch uh, South China Sea as well as the Philippine coastlines as well, 30 degrees along uh, vast stretches of that. So let's look at Invest 92E, 30% chance by the National Hogan Centre at the moment with winds of 30 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,009 millibars. Um, according to the model consensus runs over the next three to four days, it appears that 92E will probably not move much, but it could develop into a tropical storm, um, perhaps a mid-tropical storm over the next few days but it's a bit of speculation at the moment and of course we have 91E moving slowly out to the west in the eastern pacific ocean 20% chance on this storm at the moment with wind speed to 25 miles per hour and air pressure again of 1009 millibars uh, with the forecast track expected for the storm to curve back on itself uh, pretty much and perhaps merge with what invest 92E becomes eventually I should imagine that things will become clearer over the next few days with the fate of these uh, current systems. Here's Invest 91E over the eastern Pacific, moving out to sea of course towards the west uh, fairly slowly, but the clouds associated with it are, well, becoming less as you can see here, um, very disorganised and not too many clouds over the centre of the storm, so it's struggling a bit at the moment. Looking at Invest 92E now, the one that's most likely to become a tropical storm over the next 48 hours, 30% on this one of course. As you can see, I believe it's trying to get there. Um, certainly looking better than 91E is, and it will certainly be worth watching over the next few days to see what happens. And here's Invest 94B as well, the floater over this one at the moment. Uh, you can't see it quite so well here, but um, again, a little bit of clouds around, and perhaps some development could occur over this one over the next few days, but it doesn't have much room. Land is quite close to it, to the, towards the north, so um, if anything comes out of that, it will probably be short-lived. So again, let's look at the model runs here. The blue circle is probably the most interesting part of it at the moment. The CMC forecast here, um, actually not predicting that much development. Um, Invest 91E is actually being predicted to develop more than 92 at the moment. Um, ECMWF predicting not much in the way of development for 92E. Uh, both of them developing ever so slight from their current um, intensities but not much to shout about with that one. The GFS model, as you can see, is possibly the most aggressive um, in uh, developing Invest 92E to a tropical storm um, and possibly making landfall in Mexico as a weakening tropical cyclone. The NAVGEM, what you can see of it at least, uh, predicts what may be perhaps a tropical system forming towards the Mexican coast, but um, not too much towards hints of anything occurring with that one. So let's go to the predictor season table as of May the 27th and of course no storms have formed so there is no change to the leaderboard. Ken in first with 113 points, Tycoon Boba in Theo tied in second with 106 points. Now don't forget the uh, higher position goes to the person who predicted first um, because it's all about accuracy and skill and obviously the early prediction will get the most points. But only if it's correct, and of course only one or two storms have formed around the world at the moment, 
so things are still very much in their infancy and there'll be a lot of changes throughout the year and don't forget you can take part as well there's still plenty of time looking at the on this day section may the 27 2003 typhoon chan home dissipated in the western pacific tropical for tropical storm linfa made landfall in luzon at the very same time resulting in 41 fatalities 2006 tropical storm aleta formed in the eastern pacific 2007 tropical storm alvin formed as well bell completed transition to a tropical storm and typhoon sandu became post-tropical in the western pacific and don't forget you can track any storms that form anywhere in the world on the force 13 website force 13.com forward slash storm tracking will take you right to the storm tracking pages um, and there you can click through to each um, individual basin to see what's going on at the moment storm wise don't forget we're also on social media facebook and twitter just search force 13 you should find it easily enough and of course here on youtube force 13 and make sure you subscribe to keep in the loop with future forecasts